Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 The Voice of the Almighty God January 21, 2010 From the Lord, our God and Savior The Word of the Lord spoken to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Timothy, hear my words and have understanding Receive of me and find peace For that which I now share with you shall answer your concerns and open your understanding, and you shall have peace, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, I will, and it is done. I speak, and it is heard. My voice resounds in all the earth, yet very few have ears to hear. And though my voice is indeed made known, even in all the world, still they refuse to hear. Yet you, Timothy, have embraced my voice. Your ears I have opened. Thus when I speak to you, you hear and also write, and then trumpet. So also is my voice carried upon the four winds of heaven, broadcast in every corner, entering into every ear. Yet the hearts of this people have grown cold. They will not listen. Behold, they have hated the sound of my voice. Therefore listen and have understanding. The day is upon you wherein I shall gather up my sheep, and every lamb, even those asleep shall be lifted up, and the first harvest shall be accomplished in an instant. And though this trumpet has reached in number many ten thousands, even now, according to these millions, you will have only reached a very few, when compared with the whole of the population of the earth, before the first harvest has commenced and is finished. For I tell you a mystery, which is now made known, I am the Lord, and my voice a consuming fire, the sound of which carries to the farthest reaches of the universe. Therefore, that which I speak to you has already gone out into the world, even into every ear. Thus that which I command you to trumpet is an echo of my words spoken to this generation. So those who have heard and received my word, who also heed my calling, may seek out its sound to be blessed in it for further edification as a continual song, drawing them to its source. Yet most refuse to hear, clasping their hands over their ears, rather embracing this world and its seductive song, which leads quickly down the wide path to destruction. For to the dull of hearing and to the wicked of heart, whose tongues testify to their own demise, whose ears are attuned to evil, their thoughts and musings contemptible, to these, my letters and my word in the scriptures of truth have become a stern warning, an unrelenting siren blowing continually on the wall, which ceases not from tormenting their corrupted souls, as fire upon their skin, as sand in their eyes, as burning wax dripping into their ears. Therefore, Timothy, those who hear me will also hear you, and those who refuse me will also refuse you, and those who love me will also love you, and those who hate me will also hate you, and those who seek out this trumpet, loving its sound, will help you, and those who forbear will fight against you. And so I shall increase the sound of my voice seven times, even as Jericho, until all things break and all are broken, many broken unto death, ground to dust beneath the stone which shall be placed in Zion, for the stone shall become a great mountain, filling the whole earth, while still others, my hidden treasure, my battered and bruised sheep, the wild of my flock, are broken, and come to rest solidly atop this same stone, the rock of my enduring promise. Behold, my word has went forth, and sounds in all the earth, resounding through my body, by mouth, and by trumpet. For I am the Lord, and I change not. As I am, so shall I be, and have always been. Even from everlasting to everlasting, I am. Therefore I have spoken it, and shall say it again, before this perverse and wicked generation, though they can in no wise bear to hear it. I am come! The time is here! And behold I, the Lord your God, 
will do nothing until I have revealed my plans to my servants, the prophets. And this I have done. Give me glory, kiss the sun, for darkness is overhead, and great turmoil has come upon this generation, the likes of which no generation before has ever seen, nor shall any generation after. The great and terrible day of the Lord. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth! Your God has come down to you in judgment, and for ruin, for calamity! Behold, I am come out of my sanctuary to destroy, until there is no sin left in the land, until all things have bowed down before me to give me glory. And to those who kiss the sun, to them I shall be a God very close at hand. Even they shall rest upon my bosom. Yet to those who forsake me, who do always rebel against me and curse my name and the Messiah, to them also shall I be a God very close at hand the God of vengeance and recompense, the God of judgment and justice. Behold, I shall be the God of horror and dreadful signs to them and their idols, the destroyer of all their temples, the one who reigns in Israel, who breaks apart all their false foundations, the king, the mighty and strong one, who smashes in pieces and wipes away even all they hold sacred. It shall be broken in pieces. Behold, I, even I, shall murder every god of the pagans and of the Gentiles, for they are no gods. Even the god of the sons of Ishmael shall die in that day, for he is no god. He looks nothing like me. Then they will know, I am the Lord. For there is no other and none like me, the one true God, the only God, whose fury has come in his burning jealousy, Elohim, Yahuwah, also being your only salvation and escape. Behold, all shall know me and see my face, Yahushua. Bow down, therefore, and give glory to my name, for it is time. Return to me.